Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The possibility of Tyson Fury, WBC champion, facing Dempsey McKean has come up after McKean's former promoter and now manager Angelo DiCarlo has stated that there is possibility that the two could fight and that some discussions have been had for a fight in Australia for August. So when I heard this, I thought, well, actually, there was a few things. I had mixed feelings about it because to me, some of it seems like you know, an opportunity by Angelo Di Carlo to build on Tyson Fury being in Australia to get maximum exposure for these comments that he's made to then boost Dempsey McKean's profile. Uh, and then the other part of me was like, well, actually, Tyson Fury's got form for this and that if he was to face Alexander Usyk, he could make a case. Look, I need to have a fight ahead of fighting Usyk. I need to stay busy, stay sharp, yada, yada, yada. So I guess there is a couple of possibilities, but I don't think it's any surprise that this sort of thing has been announced by Angelo Di Carlo because it will get maximum exposure because Fury is literally in Australia. Decent sized story and it's been picked up obviously across boxing publications the world over. And let's face it, um, Dempsey McKean really hasn't been up to much since he's joined Matchroom. Not even sure if the uh, the Matchroom deal is still ongoing. Perhaps he would get dispensation to leave to face Tyson Fury if he's still tied to a deal. But we've actually seen this sort of stuff with McKean before with his profile. When Anthony Joshua was looking for a fight, for a comeback opponent, McKean's name was mentioned. And for a brief period, it was the number one name associated uh, with an, a Joshua fight. And at the time, I'd said, well, this could actually be trying to get some exposure for McKean because in the scheme of things, he's relatively under the radar, lightly regarded in the heavyweight division in the scheme of things, currently rated outside the top 50 on box rec, but because of the Joshua rumors, his name got a boost. And what happens here again, similar sort of scenario, his name gets a massive boost. Then all of a sudden, people are talking about Dempsey McKean. He starts to gain some undue credibility because his name is connected to Tyson Fury. His name was previously connected to Anthony Joshua. But maybe there is something in it. But then again, it could also just be that Angelo Di Carlo or Matram or whoever have actually approached Tyson Fury's people, Frank Warren, Queensbury, and said, look, we know that you were looking for a fight later in the year, um, sort of June, July, August. Uh, would you be interested in facing Dempsey McKean? Remember, he's a Southpaw. You potentially look to face Alexander Usyk at the end of the year. Maybe that could work for you. That could be as far as so-called discussions have got. But then again, like I said at the start of the video, Tyson Fury's got form for this sort of thing. Remember, Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury were meant to fight earlier in the year and to justify a fight with Derek Chisora, who was not deserving of a title shot. Fury said, I haven't been in the ring since April. I want to fight before going into the Usyk fight in a few months' time. It never eventuated. And Fury does have form for sometimes having a big fight and then having, you know, a sort of drop down in competition. We saw it after Deontay Wilder won. He fought Tom Schwartz immediately after and then Otto Valin. So there is a case to say that, well, maybe Fury will be like, uh, try to sell it to fans as I've got a potential undisputed fight coming up. I can't be underdone. I've been out of the ring for a number of months now. Last fight in December 2022. I need something to take over. And McKean, he would be that option. In the scheme of things, relatively low risk. But it's also the same as the Chisora fight. McKean absolutely would not deserve a title shot. But Fury would be looking at the bottom line going, well, if I traveled out to Australia, we had it at the MCG or a stadium, you know, something like that. It could make a lot of money and generate a lot of interest in Australia. And obviously he would have uh, boxing fans around the world as well, watching, including pay-per-views back in the United Kingdom. But in McKean, you've got a guy who simply does not deserve a title shot. The record is somewhat bloated at 22-0, and 0, but the recent opposition in the past 18 months while with Matchroom has been subpar. 
Don Hainsworth, Ariel Bracamonte, Patrick Court. I mean, these are fighters that, you know, prospects would be facing, not a guy that's meant to be on the doorstep of a title shot. So there is some concerns with this, but I guess in terms of risk and reward, I mean, it might meet that criteria. Fury drops down a level and manages to clip the ticket, still make good money, and then potentially there's the carrot of the Usyk fight after. But if it doesn't happen, well, is Fury going to be fighting next? Bob Arum's already sort of declared, well, probably he won't be in the next few months. But who knows really what could go on? Tyson Fury could force their hand and say, no, I am going to have a fight. You are going to pay me. Otherwise, you're not going to get your cut of the undisputed pie later on. So I guess we'll see what happens. But Dempsey McKean is floated as a name to face Tyson Fury. Is it realistic? Possibly. Is it something we want to see? No, because McKean doesn't deserve it. There's no demand for it. Literally, there's no demand. No one was uh, matching these guys' name except McKean and his family. But, you know, McKean, he's a you know good guy. He trains hard. He's looking for opportunities. But this is a step too far at this point. But also, he's jumping a couple of steps and a couple of people who legitimately deserve title shots. There's a whole bundle of guys that have put their hands up in recent days after Tyson Fury basically claimed no one wanted to fight him, which is absolute garbage. Everyone came out of the woodwork and said, I want to fight you. Let's make a deal. So Fury and McKean could happen. If it happens, I'm sure we'll all be watching. Will we love it? Probably not. But it would be as boxing so often does for fans under delivers. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.